What is going on everyone and welcome guys to a brand new video up on the channel. That's right. Oh my god guys. I haven't done this in a minute. Oh my god. I've wanted to do a vlog for the longest time and today I'm going to be doing a story time vlog. But I'm currently sitting here in Brooklyn. There's a lot of traffic next to me on the highway. You can see the very slow moving cars. I gotta get going and uh, when I actually get to where I'm going I will park and I will do my story time. Hopefully it is a little brighter than where it is right now because half of my face is dark, half of my face is light. Um, very, very sad too because I actually did hit a curb yesterday. Now, I'm not one to hit curbs. Not only that, but my tire pressure light came on, guys. I'm gonna have to get that checked out. We're coming up on 55,000 miles on the Honda. I drive a Honda Civic. And uh, oh yeah, baby, let's get going though and I will see you guys in a bit. As I said, guys, it is an absolutely beautiful day here in Brooklyn. Uh, got the windows down, had the music playing, but since we are stopped at a very, very long light here, uh, I wanted to quickly ask if you guys could all leave a comment down in the comments below. I'm trying to decide between buying a Mazda Miata and buying a used New Edge Mustang. Now, I know, guys, I'm looking at two completely different types of vehicles, but I love both. And I can't decide what to get. I really want to autocross one of them just for fun with some of my buddies. But I also want to build something to be kind of cool. A fun little driver, go around the town with the boys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will talk to you guys in a bit to do story time. There is a pretty sick banana yellow and clean, clean Civic. This thing is loud as hell. Looks amazing. Sounds amazing. Oh, God, guys. You just... You don't get stuff like that and you don't get new cars in such cool colors like that. That is a really, really clean banana yellow. Oh gosh, guys, love it. Love it, love it, love to see it. Story time, guys, let's jump right into it. I went to a TikToker's wedding. I used to actually work for these TikTokers. Uh, Megan and Jack are their names. Awesome people, great people. And when I tell you that some TikTokers and YouTubers are exactly how they are, on camera as they are in person um these the, these people are exactly the same as how they are on camera as they were in person love them great people so pretty much it all started uh basically when i started working for them actually i started working for megan and jack when they were still a fairly new youtube uh, and tiktok couple uh they started out on TikTok and they were just making videos together and everything started dating long distance and everything um, and they were actually looking for an editor after they moved in together so they posted online on their TikTok and on their Instagram that they were looking for an editor I luckily at that time had seen their video and I immediately decided to message them about it privately and via email and they were looking to try out a few people, see which of them might work the best for their editing style uh, because they'd already been doing videos for a little while on YouTube and a lot longer on TikTok. So I put my hat in the ringer and I decided, you know, it can't kill me to apply. So I applied and they got back to me pretty shortly after. Uh, they asked me to kind of do a test video for them, which I did, came out fairly decent in my opinion uh, but they wanted me to keep doing their videos so they hired me as their as their YouTube video editor so for I want to say probably eight to ten months I was uh, Megan and Jack's YouTube video editor sole video editor love doing it it was a lot of fun they're again awesome people so I had no problem doing it for them so guys what had happened was after I stopped working as their YouTube editor um, they actually were getting engaged and everything and they wanted to have a wedding they had their wedding in August of 2022 and they invited me to it because outside of being their editor I kind of became their friend again great people love them they uh invited me to their wedding and they set me at a table with a bunch of other tiktokers andrea and lewis uh darla if you guys have ever heard of darla really great time not gonna lie but it was very weird because when we were at the wedding i was there with my girlfriend and actually we sat down at the table and everyone was kind of introducing themselves to one another as a, you know they were all doing tiktok and and uh, such but when they got to us and they were like, so what do you guys do? What's your TikTok? What's your YouTube? Um, I actually don't do TikTok. 
And I told them straight up, I don't do TikTok. I'm actually, I was Megan and Jack's uh, video editor on YouTube and they were like, no way, we know all about you. That was so cool. And they immediately knew it was me. Uh, they knew my name and everything. So I found that to be fairly, fairly cool actually. Um, just knowing that I was their editor and that they knew me and they loved me uh, made me feel very, very much at home. Alrighty guys, so again, the tire light is on. So we gotta pull in here and we're gonna go and get some, some fresh air pop right into the tire. Hopefully get rid of that tire pressure light right there because I'm not gonna deal with that all night or for the next two weeks. I've already dealt with it for about two weeks. I tried to correct it, but I think I'm still losing air. So we're gonna come back here, refill the tire, put some more air in here, and uh, I'm probably gonna have to get a new tire slapped on here really soon, depending on you know what the situation actually is. So tire, time it is. Set this bad boy up. I get to 41. No, 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 not 45. Come on, down, down. There we go. Already unplugged one of these, so here we go. Let's see, what are we at? Oh, 39, that one's a little low, but nothing out of the ordinary. Alrighty, so nothing even close to being out of the ordinary here. They were all sitting at a nice, pretty 39 PSI. We put them all now to 41. And then let's get rid of that light. Reset it, usually it takes three times to reset in Hondas. So, okay. Now that light will definitely come back in the next day or two, but when it does, I will just reset it another time and then probably one more time and we should be good. Now guys, I know this is kind of a chaotic video and I do apologize. Um, definitely wanna get back into vlogging, doing hopefully daily vlogs, if not daily, a couple times a week. I really love vlogging. Ooh, nice car. Um, oh, it's always cool. It's always awesome to hear nice cars again guys I know I said it earlier in the video, but I'll say it again I'm looking at a few cars right now to buy so the two cars I'm currently looking at are a new edge up Mustang, which is a 99 to 04 uh, Mustang GT or possibly getting a Mazda Miata oh, Guys, I really don't know um but definitely leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think I should get if you guys want me to get a car. I really wanna autocross it. I really wanna go for some nice drives at night. Um, just kind of build it up, make it into a fun, fun extra car. So yes, guys, let me know what you all think. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon.